Filipino giving me shoes, gay. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Uncle Vim Rock coming to you live in Discretion TV. Nobody knows their Jodeci yet. And oh, I'm running at Jodeci before Jodeci. Right. So I'm okay. running with him, house to house, checking on this, checking on that. Then he met Mary. Then he hooked me up with Mary. So I started messing with Mary. And you were an artist. It yet. sounds like you yeah, said you, you were an artist. You, you touched down. Of course. Okay. So <laughs> he's kind of put that out there a little bit already. So, uh, you know. Okay. So, okay. And, so we now Mary. he gets his own thing. Puff. Biggie was signed to Uptown first. Right. So you didn't yeah, know yeah. Biggie through Nah, Brooklyn he's streets. a baby. He's young. Oh. I knew Un. Oh. Un was the hustler for the area with some other guys. Oh. Sure. Right? So every neighborhood, like Wise. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. Every neighborhood got their big homie exactly. getting money. Un was that guy oh. for Biggie's neighborhood. Oh. So when Biggie met Puff and Big got on, Un was his right hand. And that's how they started how Junior they, Mafia. Right, right. And Undias and all of that. So when I met On, I was like, you don't remember me? What? He's like, nah. I said, Red Acura. He's what? like, oh, shit. And I called some other names. And he's like, that was you? I'm like, yeah. Ah. Because I always had one foot in and one foot out. Huh. Which is how I ended up in the feds later. Wow. It caught up to me. Okay, so let's, let's, let's cut to the chase, right? A lot of people relate you to Tupac as mm -hmm. well. And then a lot of people think this is the hey, sense. No, we don't, listen, this is the first interview I've ever done in my life. No problem. Talk, I got you. I'm you, only here because, you know, I talk to you off the scenes. You know, you're my friend man, off the scenes. Talk, but man. I have to be um, straight. So a lot of people think when they see the Tupac robbery, mm. that that was you. The robbery? What robbery? The actual robbery <laughs> of... In the studio? In the studio. No, no, no. That was a robbery. Oh, oh. Yeah, it was a robbery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, I mean, that's the least part that we all... We, that's the least no, part that we all focus on. Hold Because I, 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 as a friend, you're my friend, but you, your name that. has been anonymous to yeah. this. And then when I looked at the movie, they had nothing but Brooklyn niggas acting that role. So it made me immediately say... It really had to be Brooklyn niggas. You know Haitian Jack. Mm -hmm. You know all these dudes that synonymous related to that mm -hmm. incident. So I just want to ask you, as a friend. Mm. Yeah, that was about to happen. That was Tupac. That's right. Tupac. <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> Tupac like, yo, yo, you saw it. You want to ask this? Uh, so I, for, for the sake of everything, did, was anything to do with you Me? In, in Unique Studios? Or this, can you tell us the real story? Put it this way. Or what can you tell us, if yes. anything? Put it this way, right? All of these guys that was surrounding that incident, mm -hmm. I grew up with all of them. They're all from East Flatbush, mm. right? So, you know, when that whole thing went down, he was coming to make a record with me. Pac? That's exactly the story I heard. No, but I'm getting so, that. You ain't listen. Pac this is the first time. Listen, this is the, the first time <laughs> it's officially said. I've ever done an interview. Period. Right. So people. I'm very honored. Thank you. People on my come on. Yeah. People on my Instagram page oh, hit me man. up all the time for interviews. Right. right? <laughs> right. And my response is not interested. <laughs> Right, and they'll persist and keep going and going, and then they'll take it upon themselves and do podcasts. This kid did this shit two weeks ago, and the followers sent it to me in my DM, and I posted it, and uh -huh. I'm like, I don't even know who this dude is. They quoted me as saying something, mm. and I'm like, bruh, and then he popped up in the comments, <laughs> and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna give you some blood in your mouth when I catch you. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, who are you? Right. And he's like, I reached out to you. So I go yeah. on my, e my email and I find some shit from like the top of the year. Yeah. And I'm like, I told you not interested. Yeah. But when I catch you, <laughs> you put some blood in your Then mouth. you're interested. Yeah, because I never did no gangster right. music. Right. right. Because of the shit I was doing off camera. But, but um, I apologize, but Pac was actually coming to see you at that studio? Yeah. So what happened... <laughs> and you know what, man? I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. I don't. I don't really. I don't fuck with them dudes no more. Right? Who's, who's them dudes? I don't even call a name. Like, uh, bro, uh. I'm so tight 
Right. See, I don't, I don't argue, and I don't go back and forth with people. Right. Okay. If you say something disparaging about me, I just want to get close enough to you to just grab you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't say nothing. Oh. I don't give you no light. I got some shine. You understand what I'm saying? So, so, you know, people make their beds, and when you make your bed at night, you got to line your bed. Absolutely. Yes. Right, so if you trapped off, if you wherever you at, that's on you. Yeah. But if you got a problem with me, when I catch you, Ooh. I'm a boogeyman you. Mm. Right. And if you grew up with somebody, you know what they are and what they ain't. So Urban Legend has a certain select few of names from Brooklyn mm -hmm. up here. Yes. I know the real, and I know right. who was really putting in that work, and I know who wasn't. No, we know you know. So, I didn't do no gangster music. I never said I'm a gangster right. at right. all. The opposite, yeah, for sure. So when that happened, I never wanted to do a record with him. With Pac. Right. Okay. So an ex friend of mine always had celebrities hanging around. I thought this is a girl. Is it a girl? No. Okay. So now, one day Tupac pops up. And I'm listening to the music. We draw narratives from the music that we hear people make. And oh, then so you did so Pac wasn't known at this time when you met him? He was doing it's the early days of Pac. The, well, no, yeah, so, he, it was so known, awesome. but he was doing um oh, I, it was right after he, Digital Underground days. Yeah, it was like after Digital Underground. He was Apocalypse now. He was in New York doing a And you know what I realized after Juice. And, and, and you after know what juice, I realized, okay. and you, you correct me if I'm wrong. What I realized is after you know, I, I really looked at Pac's career, right? And I looked at it, and I, he had to be in New York for like his like first twelve years of his career. So you saying that that is that the, the role you played, or no? Uh, right before he was doing above the rim, bam, right. So okay. this right before the rape case. Okay. He pops up at one of our hangout spots. So we used to hang in this certain place every day. And then on Tuesdays, next door was a comedy spot. This is in Queens. Mm. So we in the barber shop, and Tupac pops up. And we're there, <clears throat> and they're joking with him because he had like, and you can go on the internet and pull these pictures up, and nobody ever notices that. So you just see somebody, you're like, oh shit, he's, no. When he changed, he took off his hair and bone, then he had a diamond cross. Then he had a diamond pinky ring. Then he had a gold presidential. Before that, he had a heron bone. He had baggy jeans. So there was a time he started dressing up. He had like, comp, like motorcycle boots, a right. vest, like good sweaters. That's all the dudes in my circle. Mm. He came around and we watched them and they clowned him. And I sat, sat there and I didn't like it because that's what not who I thought he was. What do you mean they clowned him for having been? For yeah, having the wrong and you, didn't like yeah. The, okay. you didn't like that they were clowning him, or you didn't like that he took it. I didn't like that he took it. Okay, right. you know because that's you know they say don't meet your heroes. Right, I've never stopped you, being a fan of rap. Be discouraged. Yeah. So when I came in the game, I was still a fan of rap music. So yeah. now you know how it is. You you got a record out, and people know the record, and they know you, but. You're seeing people that you just saw on TV or heard on the radio. Yes. I always walk up to dudes, damn man, good to meet you. Yeah. And the greeting wasn't always good coming back. Right. And we'll get to that because I'm gonna smash shit. somebody today. Yeah, yeah, let's so, do it. Let's so, do it. <laughs> me and another friend of mine, because it was a lot of us, uh -huh. and everybody, we all weren't getting money together. So, two people might have been in North Carolina, two people might have been in right. deep, but we'll all get together. And we got up and went next door to Manhattan proper on 217th and Linden. Mm. And I was sitting there going, yo, I never imagined him to be the person that would sit through that. To my pop. Yeah. Okay. The next day, mm. new jewelry, new clothes. And I was like, oh shit. And he changed. <clears throat> so if you go on the internet and you start pulling up those pictures, you'll see the different him. Mm. So, another day, I'm at the same place. Mm -hmm. The dude that owned the spot, who was an ex-friend of mine, he's like, yo, come with me to the city to pick him up. So we driving there. Pick up Pac. Pop, right? Me and this guy, we argue like cats and dogs, right? And he's You like, and the guy or you yep, and Pac? Me and okay. the guy. Okay. And he's like, oh, Pac, listen, you don't listen. Wow. I'm like, I got more money than you. Why am I listening? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. 
and we pulled up to the Parker Meridian. <clears throat> Park and Meridian, 57th Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, 56. 56. 56, yeah. Well, I, I go to 57th side. <laughs> <Let's see. Okay. laughs> I get, I get. I'm going to blow myself up. I'm so sorry. I get, I get, go, go. And Park came out and he got in the car. Now, this week, got the rape case as well, too, right? So we're in an 850. I'm in the back seat. Bro, there's no room in an 850 in the back seat. Right. <clears throat> Park gets in with a Ziploc bag of weed. This dude don't like weed or rap music. Uh, so I'm in the back going, I gotta get the fuck out this car. Right? So, and I can't move. There's no door. Uh, he's armed, Pox armed, he puts in a spice one tape. He don't like rap music. And I'm in the back going, I gotta get the fuck out this car. Right? We go back through the Midtown Tunnel. We get back to this shop. I get out the car. My car is parked there. And he's like, yo, go get. Go get Scooter, and we're going to go meet up at such and such restaurant. We hanging out tonight. I was like, all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> I drove off. I'm like, yo, thank you, God, for getting me out the fuck this <laughs> So I go to Brooklyn to get my man Scooter. I just visited him Monday wow. in Otisville, big, right? Big up Scooter, yeah. So... Yeah, hey, Otisville? Otisville. That's the feds. Okay, my bad. Yeah, that's the feds. Ooh. It's just upstate. So that's my, my co-defendant. Right. Okay, cool. So we're getting ready to actually get him, get his case turned over. He's been That's in hard. 21 years and five months. That's hard. So I get there and he's dressed, Scooter. Scooter. So he's dressed. Right. And he's like, yo, we gonna meet Pac and him. I'm like, nah, we not going to meet them. I'm like, yo, bro. And I'm running it down, right? And I'm in the back seat. But, and he's playing Spice One. He's smoking weed. But he's don't okay tell me this it. is the night that Pac got Listen, shot. listen. <laughs> Cause, yo, and he wants to go meet up with them bad. He's not driving. I'm driving, and we sitting there. And we just in the house drinking champagne, watching New York One, and we get the call. That's the night they caught the rape case at Nels. They was and, at Nels, and then Nels, it happened at the Park of right. and and it happened at the Park of Meridian. <clears throat> so I'm looking at him. I'm like, bruh, I didn't know that was gonna happen, but I knew it wasn't good. You knew that night wasn't good. Like the vibe was right. The vibe was off. Oh, all right, all right. Look, I'm just catching on to what you're saying. So you said that you could have actually been there the mm-hmm. night that Pot caught the rape case. Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying. That's exactly what he's saying. Oh my God. 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 Oh my History, history. Well, yeah. good yeah. that you were there. No that's, good. That's reason to clap. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. reason to clap because that's that's real history. You see, the thing is, for me. Mm. You know, no matter what's going on, right? You got guys that run the street and then they'll speak about the shit that they did to glorify it because they're trying to get attention. I'm not that guy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't want nobody to know any intricacies. So a lot of people don't even know what I went to jail for. Right. right? Because I never made gangster music. So Lil Wayne, Prodigy, all these guys going to jail for these guns that's (laughs) never been fired. If you can't no, but Lil, Lil Sean, I gotta be honest with you. Mm. Um, as much as you're trying to be humble, niggas in the street knew you was not the guy to play with. They think, see that's see that's another thing, right? And I always tell the my man, man, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm gonna let you do. You, you gotta think about it, right? You see, even but, you, right? But niggas knew they're going to take pictures. Now you've been in the visiting room, right? So you know how it go. Pictures is over here, y'all go back over there, and this is the visiting room. The CO's sit there. Yep. The vending machines is over there, right? Yeah. There you go. And Tut goes up to take a picture with his family. He stops over there and he sees me. He's like, yo, little, what's up? But he wouldn't come nowhere near me. Well, Tut. Yeah. Okay. And I'm asking Scooter, what's going on? Like he's like, I don't fuck with that dude. You see, so urban legend has this. That y'all all together. But bruh, in the circle, it's like the shit that happened in your house. We don't know. So nobody knows what happened in my house. I know. And I'm not gonna expose you. But be cool. But you definitely did not have anything to do Come on, bro. with robbery at two times. Jesus <laughs> Christ, bro. That's my friend. I gotta, I gotta talk to him like a friend. No, I gotta talk to him like a friend. Like, nothing. Shit. See, nothing. 
So I don't even know why people are doing interviews connecting themselves no, to this. They've they, they been pointing at because you so they much. didn't have nothing to do with that shit. That's real. I was there. You were there, bro. I listen. My the car was stuck in the parking lot. Yeah, I had to go back the next day to get my car. Yo, when that when the car got out, I went up in the elevator. You, I was upstairs already. Right. The Big was you, there. The first one to see him. No one never heard his stop. You know what? No. Because in quad, give me some the more elevators one. are here. No more? I'm in. And when you get off the elevator, it's like a wall. Yeah, and I was over here by reception with Andre Harrell and Puff. Andre Harrell was there too? Of course. And Puff? Yeah, because here's the thing. This is how the this is how the whole shit came about. Andre was doing New York Undercover. You know that was his television show. With Definitely Malik Young, executive producer. Didn't you didn't know, know that? that? I didn't know that. Okay, so. But what was his role in the show? He produced the executive producer? He was producer? producer. Okay. That was his shit. That's nice. That's crazy. So, somebody had a bright idea and said, yo, look, we're going to get Pop to do a song with Sean. I had just signed to Uptown at the time. Because at the time, let me just describe this, you're way hotter than Biggie Smalls. Biggie is not even. He like, just started. He Biggie just started. Even You'd be yet. the OG to him. He just started. You got Higgies on Monday, other than Sean. Is that, is that record popping already? After that. After that. I mean, think after. about it. He had songs released on that Uptown. That was right before. And so, Big didn't have records so, on Uptown. So, with when I was on Uptown MCA, I released Don Perignon. Right. And Big was in the video. Right? So, uh, when Dude got there, and got off the elevator. Okay, I'm gonna do, I gotta, I gotta ask. When you say a dude, you say Tupac. Tupac. All right, right, cool. So, even the account that he made, <coughs> that's not what happened. What's the account that he made? Can we? Can he we said recap? everybody. He said got the elevator. Everybody ran from him, and they wasn't. That's not what happened. <coughs> we ran towards him, and we was wow. trying to get him to sit down. Wow. And he went to sit down, and he popped back up. <coughs> Because Which is he, what C says. He C says that all the time. Yes, he said that yes, but we didn't know. Time. Right? And he said, call my mother. And detectives got there. Ambulance got there, right? And they put him in the, the gurney <coughs> and they stood him up and they brought him in the elevator to bring him down. So now everybody else that was still there, the police was like, we know that there's guns up here. <coughs> We're gonna search this floor. I heard that, and there was one guy, short guy, that was with Tupac and them. He didn't leave when they left. And he was just on the wall stiff. And I walked up to him and I was like, yo, you good? He was like, yeah. And I said, come with me in the back. I bought him in what they call the live room, where they have instruments, mm -hmm. right? And I searched him. He had a hammer on him. I took it off his waist. But you had to search him? Yeah. Took it off his waist, <coughs> put it in the piano. And I said, the cops are going to search this floor. So now, you know, let a couple days go by and you can come back and get your shit. He was like, thanks. I said, don't worry about it. Months later, me and Big, God bless the dead, we in daddy's house. And we're talking about this. And Big is like, yo, I don't know why he would think that I had anything to do with that. Big, Tupac came to New York and I told him about hanging out with these guys. Tupac went and told these niggas that Big said that shit. <coughs> so now they was on after Big. See, you don't hear that shit. You no, dig? I do hear it. You heard that. It's not, it's not uh, pulverized. It's not, you know. Right. But I did Pulverize. hear that. So Big was Pulverize. mad yeah. that Pac put him on blast. He said, I can't believe that. I'm the one that went and got his gun for him out the studio. And I looked and I said, you got it out the piano. He said, how'd you know? I said, because I put it there. Uh. All of that shit that happened afterwards was a ploy. And it was manufactured by Suge Knight. 
When you say ploy, I don't know what a ploy means. Here's the thing. It was a game plan. It was a game plan to get him so, to so go over there. Strategy. It was a strategy. strategy. So if you think about back then, Tupac got convicted of the rape, he went to jail. That sucker nigga Kevin Powell did an interview for Vibe. With oh, Tupac. The, the writer, the writer, Kevin Powell. Yeah. The Leskin guy, I know. And Tupac said, Thug Life is dead. He said, I might be killed after this interview, but I want my truth to be known. Right? And he's doing the interview, right? Suge Knight goes to get him out of jail. Yeah. When Suge Knight got him out of jail, it's the first time you heard Biggie and Puff did it. Mm -hmm. That whole East Coast, West Coast shit was manufactured by Suge. Suge did that shit. But not but you're not the shooting. You're saying that. No, no, no. I'm talking about, about right. Okay, okay, just to be the clear. The blaming of <laughs> right, right. Right. Yeah. The blaming of, right. of uh, who, oh, Puff oh, and Big. Yeah. That was Suge. So not vibe, not the media. You're Puff saying was, Suge. Tupac wasn't saying that. Tupac was blaming street guys. After Suge came and got him out of jail. And that's, that's the reason. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. That's where I keep asking you. Because when Tupac was blaming the street guys, you're, you're, you was one of the number one names. Yeah, but I wasn't a street guy. He wasn't. He was, uh, he was writing songs. I was a rapper. He was a rapper. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I can't really let you get away with but that. But you have to because, because the thing is, you have to. You sound like a spy novel. Yeah, but you have to. You know why? Uh -huh. Because you wouldn't know that if you didn't have a foot in the street. You ain't know nothing about me. What'd you know? I'm not gonna lie, you're very good. <laughs> I'm just saying, what would you know? But it's the truth, but what would you know, right? So if I never spoke about this before, right? And I'm telling you how this shit unraveled. If you see media, if it's on the newspaper tomorrow on the cover, y'all all gonna talk. Trump gets impeached. Everybody in the room's going, Trump gets impeached, but he's not gonna be removed. But he's impeached. Right. You don't know what the fuck that means. Yeah, they don't know the, the nuance. He's still the president of Let the United honest. States. Well, your case is different. Come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you still gonna ask me if he robbed him? <laughs> But ask him, I, I had to be fair. Ask him one more time. I had to be fair to my fans. Listen, come on. You're a real nigga. You, but you, you only know that. And real niggas in the world, like yo, raw Lil people. Sean, no, mm. they say they. This is what they say. They say, Lil Sean, Scooter. You named his name. Now that you named it. And what's the other nigga? I don't know. Somebody. Uh, What's the other nigga? The other nigga. The mm, other mm, Brooklyn nigga. Mm, mm, mm. John they G. said that y'all three niggas, mm. the niggas that robbed Tupac. Yeah, but I'm telling and you. And then y'all bring it to Gabriel. To but damn, so you ain't in there too? I'm fucking a joke. I'm fucking a joke. But here's the thing. Okay. It's been 20, 20 25, 25 years. 25 years, yeah. Is there a statute of limitations to that? Of course. But 20, I would, bro, 25 years, right? Yes. I was the only one questioned for the crime. Oh, you were actually questioned over it? I thought they questioned me too. No, I was the only one questioned. And I wouldn't. Arrested. No. They came out. No. Nope. 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 No. I was the only one questioned for the crime. So you were a prime suspect? At that moment. Yeah, because I had an open case in the same precinct. Right. Mm. Wow. At that time. And I said, I'll sit down with them. I don't care. But Andre has to be there. All right. Yep. Yeah. So we're in Andre's office and they get there and they're like, yeah, we heard you were jealous of Tupac. And I'm like, really? And this is the feds or this is no, no, state, 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 state. Okay. Uh, let's let's right. take it. Yeah. NYPD. Yeah. And they said, we heard you were jealous of Tupac. I'm like, really? That's your angle? All right. Peace. And I got up and walked out. Like, what are you Great talking story, about? Great story, guys. Yeah, because, oh, nah, you know that. Come on, champ. Come on, champ. So, you did. Wait a minute. But, but bruh, listen to me. I will, I'm listening to you. If I take something from you, bruh. it's going to ruin your life. If I take your chain mm. and your watch, mm. that ain't gonna ruin your life. So, 
if I ever rob somebody, yeah. it won't be that. Right. But you, you ever get offended by those stories? Mm, all the time, but not anymore after the past two. Think about it, I'm in jail. And that shit is coming to me. And people is in accusing jail. you of robbing Tupac. Right, but you and know how 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 did that happen? Like when you're in jail, you niggas are like, you robbed Tupac. It's not and, just and, robbing, it's the and, it's and you you in every jail. Right? You're in every jail. 